Okay, uh, this I create this video only talking about two characters. Okay, which one is very common characters? Okay, so I want to help you guys figure out how we use that. Sometimes they change a little different. Maybe you want to see which one. Okay, you can see that one here. Looks very simple, right? That character, right? You know this one, right? Yes. Pronounce that one. Le, yeah, le, pronounce the le, that's a character, okay. Le, we learned this one before, right? It's the meaning and you should like put the end of the sentences, right? It's not change meaning, right? Just means past tense. You say, chi le, chi is eat, right? Chi le, you say eat, chi is means now. Plus the le is eat, chi le, okay. That means change, uh, change what? Change past tense, 吃了. Also, this character, you can put after verb or under the sentence. Both, both, they don't change meaning. But today, they somewhere a little change, not much, okay? Not really much, still not change, okay? I want to say not change, okay? I don't, don't want to give you guys Worry, okay. Do not change, okay. You can see how I figure out here, okay. Le yosule is past tense, okay. From before until now, okay. If they put under the sentences, okay. From before until now, okay. Until now. For example, um, which one? 我喝了咖啡了. He is verb, right? Cafe. Okay. Why I say that? Maybe somebody asked me, right? Do you drink coffee, right? I just told them I drink coffee, right? Then I say, 我喝了. Then that's it. Okay, I can say, 我喝了. This means past tense, I drink. Or I can say, 我喝了. Cafe la. something. I just told them I drink. Okay. 我喝了, I drink. Cafe la. This means that finished. From before until now. We don't know. One hour ago, five minutes ago, uh, this morning, yesterday. I don't think yesterday, yesterday for one day the time, right? Ten minutes ago, right? Couple minutes ago, right? Maybe say morning or afternoon, something. Okay, so just means from before until now. The past tense of what in the depend talking about the cafe, right? Okay, 我喝了咖啡了. Okay, now if we talking about the numbers, okay, numbers, for example, if somebody ask you study Chinese, right? You can say what? Uh, 你学中文,你学中文多长时间了?时间 is time, right? 多长时间? Is how long the time, right? How long time, how long the time did you study Chinese, right? 你学中文学了多长时间了? Or I can say, 你学中文 多长时间了? Maybe you really care, you ask me, Ying Ying, you say double time, where are the different, right? It's the same here, it's the same here, okay, one more time. 你学中文多长时间了? Okay, how long did you study Chinese, right? 你学中文多长时间了? Or I can say more specific say, 你学了中文, 学了多长时间了? In that case, I might prefer, I know you are studying the Chinese. And that's why the first part, I say, 你学了中文. Oh, you studied Chinese, right? Make sure, right? So means I know you are, right? Then continue say, 学了多长时间了? 你学了中文, 
right? Xue Lezhong studied, okay? Ducks, I know you are studied Chinese, right? Ni Xue Lezhong Wen, ne? Xue Le Duo Chang Shi Jian Le. Wow, how many Le? Three, right? Three. Okay. All they work? Yes, they work. Still sad meaning. Where are they different? The first one is shorter. The second one or third one, more longer, they not change meaning, just more specific. Like they say, they want to make sure you study the Chinese, then study the how long the time. Double ask. The first one is Ni Xu Zhong Wen Duo Chang Shi Jian La. They just ask you how long the time you study Chinese. The second one, the first, they make sure 你学了中文, you studied Chinese, then studied how long time, say double time. The meaning not change, okay, just a second time, more specific, okay. Then, in that case, how I answer that one here, I can say 一年了, 一年了, one years, one years ago, right? 一年了, okay, 一年, uh, one years ago. Or I can say, 我学了一年了, that means both, okay, means from before until now, one year, and still learn, okay, 一年了, okay, one more time, 我学了一年了, this answer here means I learned Chinese one year ago and still study Chinese. Okay, if I say 学一年, 学了一年, in that case, just tell you one year. Maybe right now I stopped. 学了一年, I don't have the right. 学了一年, I just say one year. 学了, studied. Okay, how long? Answer the question here. 一年, 学了一年, that means one year. Oh, 学了一年, maybe two years ago, maybe five years ago, maybe just last year. But anyway, I just studied Chinese one year. 学了, okay, studied. Then how long? 一年, one year. And that's it, I'm stopped. 学了一年, but you do not uh, last year, two years ago, three years ago, or ten years ago. I not say that, I just told you, I studied Chinese one year. Let me answer the question again. 学了, I studied, then plus the number, 一年, that I answer you, I studied Chinese one year. If I say, 我学了一年了, 学了一年了, and the sentence is, le is past tense, from before until now, okay? That means I learned Chinese last year, and also now, still learn Chinese. This is very simple, right? You're okay here right now, okay? Let me say one more time here, okay? That's, that's simple sentences here, okay? Very common. When you study language, somebody may be first time, they just ask you, how long the time did you study Chinese? Did you learn in Chinese, right? So, 你学中文多长时间了? That's a sentence that more prefer, they ask you, how long the time did you study Chinese, right? If they say, 你学了中文, you study the Chinese, okay? That means like so. They know you study the Chinese. Then, 学了多长时间了? Second sentence is, they ask you how long the time. The first sentence, the first part, they say, you study the Chinese. Then, how long? They know change meaning to the second, more specific, ask you, make sure you study it. Then how long? The first one, they don't ask you, you study. They just ask you how long. That means they know you are. 
They don't want to say double time. Okay, questions we figure out, right? The meaning is the same. When you answer here, okay, you want to answer one year, okay, you say, 一年了一年了 does it mean one year oh, 一年了 until now 一年了 means last year and now I still learn Chinese from before until now one year 一年了 I'm not stopped yet okay if I say 我学了 I studied 一年 now the that means I studied one year. They were okay. Or you want to say 我学了一年了. They work. Yes. The kids wear just under the sentence is careful. If the le put under the sentences, that means from before until now, you still continue. You know, stop. Okay. If in the middle, okay, that also you mean under the sentences, you don't have the okay, that means you finished. One more time here, okay. 我学了中文学了一年了. You don't worry about before the part. Just care under the sentences. 一年了. That means one year ago until now okay one more time what if i say that on here okay one more time <laughs> 我学了一年了, studied one year and still now if i say 学了一年了, okay maybe on the same person 学一年了, 学一年了, last year until now, I still study Chinese. Okay, or I can say, 学了一年了, same thing, studied one year until now. I'm not finished. Again, where, you know how you know? Because the le I put under the sentences, right? Put the end of the sentences, right? Okay. 学了一年了, right? Okay, a little change here. Okay, now I say 学了, studied 一年, stopped 学了一年. That means, <laughs> that means only one year. Maybe from last year, maybe from two years ago, maybe 10 years ago before, because and the sentence, do I have le? No, I don't have le, right? That means stopped. That means finished. Okay? So this is for le, how we use the le. Where are they different? Again, if I don't have the number, I don't say one year, one week, one month, one day. Okay? Doesn't matter from before until now. Okay? So, why when I don't say that if you don't ask me 多长时间, I say one year because you ask me 多长时间, that's you ask me then I say that right if you say uh something is ma right for example we back say coffee again okay 你喝咖啡了吗? 你喝咖啡了, you drink the coffee right if I say 你喝咖啡了吗? Did you drink coffee, right? They ask you, right? 你喝咖啡了吗? Okay, now I can say 我喝了喝了 Drinked means finished The under the sentences means I drinked because of past tense 我喝了 Right? That's your asking So if you ask me how long the time, they are different, right? So, for example, uh, has, okay, I still say the Chinese, okay, that's okay. Yeah, 你学中文了吗? Do you study Chinese, right? I can say, 
我学了, just means I studied. This means from before and until now. It means finished. I'm finished. 我学了. Maybe finished from the yesterday, last year, just the past tense. You ask me, studied, right? 你学中文了吗? I just say, 我学了. The little under the sentences, okay, means past tense, okay, not the meaning now, okay, the meaning from before. If you ask me, 你学了多长时间? 多长时间? As you ask me how long, right the time, I need to say number. In that case, careful. So I say, 一年了, the le under the sentences, that means from before until now, I still learn Chinese. If I say 一年, means one year. You do not win, but I now tell you, but just tell you one year. Maybe two years ago, maybe three years ago. Again, do you okay here? One more time here, okay? Le by itself, it's a past tense. And also, you can put after verb, put the where, after verb, and the end of the sentences. You can put a double time, okay? Another sentence says, maybe you put three times, right? Just uh, after verb and the end of the sentences. They change the meaning? No, they don't change the meaning. Still is a past tense. Just more specific, okay? So, for example, again here, okay? 你学中文了? Did you, you study Chinese? If I plus the ma, did you study Chinese, right? 你学中文了? Ma, they work, right? 你学中文了? Ma, again, the ma put under the sentences means questions, means questions, okay? Then, <laughs> then, if you answer, you can say, 学了. Do I have the number? No, I just studied. 学了, just told you, I studied. 学了, when? You not ask me, I not answer. I just tell you I studied. 学了. Then you know I studied, right? Then you continue ask. 学,你学了中文? Okay, you studied Chinese. 学了多长时间了? How many? The three, right? Okay. 你学了中文? You don't have to say. But just make a longer sentence. Some people, some people they like. More specific, more make sure you studied. Okay, 你学了中文, that means you are studied Chinese. Uh, 学了, studied. 多长时间? Uh, or you can say, 多长时间了? They not, they not change meaning here. Okay? They okay, both here. For the questions, both they work. Uh, 你学了中文? 学了? 多长时间了? They work? Yes, they work, okay? The case answer here, Kaifo. They ask me, how long the time, right? I can say, 一年. Do you hear say le? No, no le. You ask me, 多长, how long? I just say one year. 一年, then that's it. 一年. You I say, 一年了. Before, until now. Now also, I can like you ask me the questions. More specific, say what? 我学了中文. I studied Chinese. Then studied. 学了一年了. That means from before until now. Very different. Just the end of the sentences. If they have the from before until now. Careful here. Okay. Or I can say, 我学了一年了. Okay, still something. Okay, very different. Again, okay. If they ask you 多长, ask you the time, you need to answer the numbers. The end, the sentences, plus the 
That means from before until now. If the, they ask you the numbers, you just answer the numbers. Now the, that means one year, one day, one week, you finished, okay? Not now, just from last week, okay? Last, yesterday, last year, okay? 一天, 一天, we don't know which day, but just one day, right? 一年, one year, just one year. Okay, here, okay, this is talking about the le, okay. Now we can keep some sentences from the textbook. If you don't have a textbook, it is okay. I'm speaking super slow, okay, super slow. If you have a textbook, you can follow me, you can check, double check, okay? So 203, this grammar from the textbook, 203, the page, lesson 16, no, lesson 16, uh, lesson 17, lesson, lesson 17, lesson 17, part one. Okay, lesson 17, part one, okay? Lesson 17, part one, right? So the first sentence is, you can see here, okay? Uh, this is grammar. Grammar in Chinese, we say what? We say yu fa. Yeah, yu fa. Okay, yu fa. Um, grammar Chinese, we say yu fa. The first box what they say le, how we use the le, they use the sentences, okay? For example, they say Wang Peng, the person name, right? 在学校的宿舍, 宿舍, okay, 宿舍, 住了两个学期, 住了两个学期, okay. So, Wang Peng, 在学校的, 学校, is school, okay, school, the world, 宿舍, 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 campus, 宿舍, okay, 住了两个学期, how they say here, okay, so, Wang Peng has been living on campus, for two what two semesters okay semesters um up to this moment okay this moment okay so that's the translation here okay let's directly translate it figure out okay okay Wang Peng in the school here is campus school live live there okay. 两个学期, okay, 两个学期, two, okay, two semesters, two semesters, 住了两个学期, they plus the le, okay, two semesters, okay, le, 两个学期, le, that means from before until now, you just see the le, the end, the sentences, le, right, how I know, because 两, 两个, what 两个? Number, right? 两个学期, okay. Two semesters, 两个学期. Have the number and also the put the end sentences. That means from before until now. Wang Peng is the boy, the man. Still there, still where? Campus, 宿舍. <laughs> Look at here. So Wang Peng has been living on campus for two semesters up to this moment. Still there in Chinese. Wang Peng Zai Xue Xiao de Shu Shu Xue Xiao de Shu Shu Campus Xue Xiao de Shu Shu Zhu Le Live There Zhu Le 两个学期, 两个学期, if they don't have the, that means he's not there yet. If they have 两个学期, the, that means he's still there. He's still there. Okay, then we figure out here the the. The first sentence is here. They give us for example, right? Okay, the case where, if they have a number. <laughs> If they have a number when you use the le, right? The end of the sentence is how le, that means still there, from before, still there. If they just say the numbers, 两个学期, okay, two semesters, 两个学期, then before, 
he's not there yet. If they say, uh, 两个学期了, still there, still there. Okay, let me see. The sentence is one. 你开出租汽车开了几年了? Okay, the case here, okay? 你, they not ask me, let's say you, 你, Kai to drive. 出租, 出租汽车, 汽车 is a car, right? 出租汽车, 出租 is to run. 出租汽车 is taxi together, okay? 出租汽车 is taxi. 开了 to drive, okay? 几年, 年 is year. 几年了, how many years? Okay, how many years? What is it? How many years have you been driving a cup? Okay, they say cup, right? Okay, the 出租汽车, okay. So then, 几年了, the answer here, okay? The answer here, okay? They say 一年半了. 一年 is number, right? One year. 一年半, one year and a half, right? Then, 一年半, then plus the 了. That means one year and a half and until now. Because to say the number, 一年半, it is a number. And after number, still how the, that's I tell you how can use, how can figure out. Here is a, the secrets. Okay, remember that, okay? If the with the number, put the end of the sentences. That means from before until now. If no numbers, okay, whatever they put after verb or the end of the sentences, they don't change the meaning. Just the past tense. Just the past tense. Again, the le only can put, can I say only, right? <laughs> I don't really don't want to say a hundred percent. I can say more. <laughs> 90% up, okay? 90% or can say 99%, okay? Sometimes they don't follow the rule, they still they work, okay? But just not really common, not really useful, okay? So very common, we like to use the le by itself, past tense, put the end of the sentences, also after verb, okay? You can only put after verb, you can only put the end of the sentences. Also, you can put after verb and the end of the sentences. They don't change, just the past tense. If they talking some, ask you the time, how long the time, how long the day, how many days, how many years, talking about the time, have the numbers, okay? Then you use the le, that means from before until now. Why? The le by itself meaning is a past tense, right? If you use the number, that means still past tense from before until now. If you say Ying Yang, I don't use the le, okay, or don't the end sentence, don't put the end of the sentences, just the after verb, not put the end of the sentences. That means from Jimmy's before you're doing so something. Now, 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 now you're finished. Okay, finished. Again, we already said the first one. Now we can see down here, okay, the box one. Okay, okay, if you don't have textbook, you just focus. I'm speaking so slow. Okay, follow me. Here, 你开出租,出租汽车开了。they say, how many years have you been driving a car? Right, this ask you, right? Okay, that person answer, 一年半了, one year and a half. 一年半,le, the le here means one year and a half, and, and still not, okay, and now. And now, what they say here, for a year and a half now. For a year and a half now. One year and a half. 
and until now, and still now, okay? How I know? Okay, so they say, 一年半, it is number, right? 了, 一年半, 了, one year and a half, and until now, for a year and a half now. If I say, 一年半, means one year and a half, then that's it, for a year and a half. No, no, 一年半, we do not know which year, but just uh, for a year and a half, then that's it. Okay, now we see next the sentences here, we must see here, 弟弟, younger brother, right? 弟弟, 弟弟 what? 弟弟写, 电子, 电子邮件, 电子邮件, it is, um, it's an email, 电子邮件, it's an email, okay? 弟弟写电子邮件, okay, not really common, this is a long time ago, okay? So, now we like to say 邮件, then that's it, just say mail, really common, just say mail, but we know this mail, it is an email, because we don't use the uh, normal mail often, right? We use email too much. So in that case, we say mail. They know it's, it's an email. Okay, but the textbook, they say here, 电子邮件, also you can say 邮件, right? Now we're coming, okay? 邮件, 写了, wrote, 写, it's wrote, right? 写了, because past tense, 半个钟头了, 中头, we already learned that 中头 is an hour, right? Half an hour, because they say 半个钟头了, 了, it means a past tense, it's a past tense, a thing already is a past half hour, right? Half hour, 半个钟头了, okay. 不知道, don't know, 不知道, 还, still. 还要 need 多长时间 how long the time they do not still need how long the time she look this is questions ask the how long the time careful okay use the numbers okay they ask you how long that means you have to answer the time answer the time we need the number right but we need the number Careful, use the l, use the l, okay. So, now what I say here, my younger brother has been, okay, writing email for half an hour, okay. Who knows how much longer he will be. They, he don't know, they don't know, huh? Okay, here, next, okay. So now you can say, in that case, they not answer, right? They, they not answer that here, how long time? Now you can say, we can answer here. You can say, 多长时间? You can say, okay. Um, 弟弟写电子邮件写了半个钟头了,不知道还有多长时间。不知道还有多长时间. <laughs> they answer here? No, they don't answer. Okay, they don't answer, then that's it. Okay, they don't answer here. 不知道。they don't know, we don't know either, right? <laughs> we did not answer, I don't know either, I don't know when, right? Okay, so let's just say how you use the le, um, how you use the le. In that case, for the questions, it doesn't matter here, okay? Questions are just um, up to verb and at the end of the sentences, okay? So then we can see next. Ta, for example, here, okay? Um, ta bing la san tian la. 病了, okay. 他病, one 病, 病 is sick, right? Who? This is 他, that's a he, right? 他病了三天, 三天, three days, right? 三天, 了, oh, 三天 is number, 了 is the end of the sentences. That means from before until now together, three days go and still not finish yet. <laughs> Still sick. How I know? Because three days is the number. I still have the le. 三天. If I say, 他病了三天, three days. If I say, 病了三天, 
Yeah, yeah, it's difficult to remember. <laughs> Do you have a secret? Tell us. Okay. Uh, the secret is here, have to know that li is a past tense. From by itself, okay? Just to remember, li from before until now. Okay, from before until now, they have been some things, past tense. If they talk the number from before until now, still work. Still work, okay? If they don't have numbers, it means from before until now finished. If they don't have a number from before until now finished, okay? If they have a number means from before until now still not finished. For example, here, okay? Okay, but the first one here, Ta bing la san tian la. He's sick three days and still sick. Okay, what I say here, okay? He has been sick for three days ago. Okay, three days ago, okay? Ta bing la san tian la. And, okay, so, okay. Any, okay, okay. Ionis, okay? The ionis, okay? The ionis has, okay? Continue for three days. Three days and what well, is it here? Let me check, double check. And what? Um, and he, okay, currently, okay, remains, remains sick. Just, she's the same thing, just like I say, oh, still sick, okay? Remains, remains sick, still sick, that means still sick. Three days until not still sick. Let's see the next one here. Ta bing le, he's sick. San tian, three days. That person sick, three days. He's still sick? No. You ask me how long the time, just say three days. San tian, done, finished. Okay, what they say here, okay? So, ta bing le, san tian, they say, he was sick for three days. Then that's it. Okay, they not say three days ago, right? Three days. Or you like I say, okay, okay, he okay recovered from the okay illness, illness, the uh fourth day, fourth day, illness the fourth day. Okay, that means only three days, no four days, okay? So he recovered, recalled it. She recovered from the Ionis, four days. Ionis, the four days. Okay, that's let's say here. Let's see the next page here. Next page. Next page, yeah. Next page here, okay. You can see down here, okay. Two, uh -huh, for the page here, okay. 204, 200, okay. So the number five, what I say here, okay. 我, 打扫房子，打扫了一个一上午。你那是一个上午，OK，我打扫房子，打扫了一上午了，想休息一下，想休息一下，OK，first，figure、okay. out here，OK，打扫cleaning okay. what房子。in that case, more prefer that person's room, okay, 房子. 打扫了一上午了, means 上午 is morning, okay, 上午. Before 12, okay, before 12, we say 上午, you like to say morning, right, 上午, okay. 一上午了, we do not start when 7 o'clock to 11 to 12 or 8 o'clock, just means before, uh, before 12 o'clock, before 12 o'clock, okay? Uh, 想休息一下 想休息 is break Want to break 想休息一下 想休息 They want to break, okay? They want to break, okay? So here, what they say here, okay? So, I've been cleaning the house all morning I'd like to take a Break. We don't, we don't want to continue because so tired. Okay. 
OK， 啊，我打扫 ，OK， 我打扫房子，打扫了一个上午了，想休息一下。关系 Next， 衣服我已经买了三件了。OK， 够了 ，Enough， 够了。Here，OK，、okay, what they say here？ 那这些。How okay? You you maybe you say here right? How you now because they still say numbers, you not continue, okay? Because the second part, what I say here, go enough, enough, you not mean that stop, you don't need more, okay? If we say, ah, 买了三件了 that means still want to they come, they ask plan to say they turn they say, go means finished, you don't need to buy any more. OK， 啊，那英文的 first number five， 我打扫房子，打扫了一上午了。OK， the 一上午了，但是没有 still do it。They know the second part. What they say， 想休息一下。They want to take a break. They continue. No, they don't continue. They want a break. Maybe after. OK， but not now. But not now. We don't know. They break have ten minutes. Or thirty minutes, I don't know. But I know they are just breaking up, right? They breaking up, okay? So they not continue. Ah, I already have the time. 一上午 still is time, but they not finished. The 一上午了 If they stop, the 我打扫我打扫房子打扫了一上午了 Then that means I still cleaning. They are now. They come. They continue. Say, 想休息一下 Want to take a break? That means stopped. Okay, because the second sentence, second part, the explain to say, well, they want a break. Okay, the next sentence is number six. Something here. Okay, 我衣服我已经买了三件了 Clothes. They already buy three. Right. 三件了 The end of the sentence is here. If I don't continue to say, that means I still want to buy more and more and more. They are not. They come right here. Okay, they say what? They say, 够了 enough. No buy. Okay, three is good enough. Three is okay. They say 够了 right? If they don't say 够了 that means continue. Already buy three clothes. I still looking for. Because they say "come on, go," that means enough. Okay, what they say here? Let's see. Okay, 衣服我已经买了三件了，够了。I have already bought three pieces of clothing. Uh huh. That's okay. Planning. That's that's planning. Okay, planning means enough, finish, go. No more. Okay. Let's see next one. 这封信我已经看了两遍了，不想再看了。这封信，这封 is a major word for mail. 信 is mail, right? Which one? This one. 这封信，这封信我已经 already 已经 already what? 看了。Read, 两遍了 double time, twice time. I already read this mail double time, 两遍了 If I'm finished here, that means I still maybe three, maybe four. I still continue, but they are not. They come. They have second part. What they say? They change. You can't say here. 不想再看了看 To read, right? 不想 don't want to read. Ah,、uh, don't want to read. 不想看了 Maybe in English, 不想再看了 No words, okay? Firstly, 不想看了 Don't want to read. They say 不想再看了 They don't want to read that mail again because they use the 再 right? The 再 again, right? Already double time, already twice time. Not more, right? Okay, what they say here, okay? Okay, let's see here. They say, 
I have read this letter twice already and don't want to read it again. They don't want it again. They don't want to. They don't want to. It's okay. It's okay. okay. They don't want to. Okay. Okay. For le, I already explained finished. Le finished. In that video, okay, I just dropped the le. Only talking about the le and another character talking about the le. le finished. Okay. So let me uh, review the le again. Okay. Le by itself. Le on the see that's a character. You can see this character. This is a character we pronounce the le. Okay. Le. By itself is a past tense. Okay. Basic. Basically, the le we put end the sentences. Okay. By itself is a past tense. Usually, very common. We like to put end the sentences. That means past tense. Okay. And also, you can put after verb. Okay. And the end of the sentences. That means you can put a double time. And the sentences, yes, past tense. After verb, the past tense. Or after verb and the end of the sentences. Okay. Bothly work. Okay? Bothly work. Okay. 我学了,学 is a study. 中文了, the end of the sentences. If somebody asks me, 你学中文了, ma, did you study Chinese, right? 你学了中文了, ma, or you can say, 你学中文了, ma, okay. Did you study Chinese, right? 你学了中文了, ma, mostly work. The question here, okay? I already say that here, okay? You can say, 你学中文了, ma, right? Did you study Chinese? 你学中文了, ma, okay, down here. Or you can say, 你学了, you studied, okay? 中文了, Ma, the something first say you studied, uh, studied, did you study Chinese? Both ladies ask you, did you study Chinese? I already say that here. Second is more specific, okay? The answer here, 学了, studied, and that's it. Because you ask me, studied, then the answer, 学了, or I can say, 我学了, I studied. 中文了, both the work, right? 学, verb, 学了, okay? 中文了, the end of the sentences. I can use a double time. Or just say, 学了, you can say, the end of the sentences. Or just after verb, right? Okay, I can say, 我学中文了, 学 as a verb, I don't put, I only put the end of the sentence again. So I can say, 学了, the end of the sentence, or you can say, after verb, or I can say, 我学了, 中文了, after verb, 学, 中文了, the end of the sentence, or I don't want the after verb, only the end of the sentences. 我学中文了, three sentences. Look okay, here, we don't have a number here, right? Okay, if somebody says, oh, you studied Chinese, they are interesting. They want to ask you how long. Here, careful. Then you can say, I need a way they ask me. <laughs> okay, I ask you, then you can answer, okay? So I know you studied Chinese, right? So I say, 你学中文多长时间? <laughs> How long, right? 多长时间? I can say that one here. And also, 你学中文学多长时间了? 
in that case, okay, past tense. Okay, so the author does something like past tense. Okay, 你学中文多长时间 ？Or you can say, 你学中文多长时间了 ？They not change both they work. Okay, or I say, 你学中文。学了 ，you study the Chinese, okay? Then, 学了多长时间 ？All the words. The last one is more specific. Say first, make sure you studied. Then, just like ask you again, you studied. Then, studied how long the time? Maybe I really know you like the first one. 学多长时间？ Then that's very simple. Just say, 多长时间 Then you know they ask in that part, this case, this time, ask me the Chinese, because we do conversation, right? Just say, 多长时间 How long the time, right? Or I can say, studied, 学了多长时间 Or I can say, 你学了多长时间 You studied how long the time. Then also. More specific, say, 你学了中文多长时间 Right? Okay, it's too much here. Okay, so the question here, just ask me how long the time did I study Chinese, right? Okay, answer here, 一年 Do I have a little no? 一年 one year. 一年 one year. 一年了 The end of the sentence is before it's a number. 一年了 That means one year and until now, they work. Okay, we already figured out here. Okay, I can say, 我学中文学了 I studied Chinese. The what answer question? 一年 I studied Chinese one year. Okay, 我学中文学了 Studied, 学了 Okay, after work, 一年 Okay, then also I can say, 我学中文学一年了 The end of the sentence is here, right? Before until now, they work. Okay, the shorter one just say, 一年 Then that's it. If somebody you plus that one here, they work. Yes, no worries. Okay, why? They just follow the questions. Say one more time again, then that's it. You don't want to follow, just say, ask you how long, just say the, the time, 一年 Then that's it, okay. That's what we talking about to the, how you the, the, and the second, yeah, we already have another sentence, this is right. So they say, for example, they say, 买三，已经，我已经买了。三件衣服够了 ，right? Okay. 买衣服 ，just the sentences we already said. 买衣服，买 to buy three clothes. 我已经 already 买了三件衣服 ，three clothes. 三件衣服了。Okay, that means continue. The no, I'm not finished yet. I said my comma here. I said second part. I said. 够了 enough. No, no, buy another one. I don't want to buy too much. I'm okay, right? Maybe do say to buy something. It's talking about the study Chinese, okay? Yeah, 学了一年了，学了一年了。来 still continue say. Then I say, 不学了。You stop. I hear, okay? Then I hear say 了 right? 不学了 ，that means continue, right? Because the end, the end of the sentence. Oh no, I change. I not change because they say negative. 不学了 ，start, finished. Okay, 不学了 ，don't say that. Okay, don't say. Need to study, continue. We have to continue to study. Okay, so here just the sentence is. 我学了一年了。Then I want to say, 还学，还 is still, 还学 still. 我学了一年 one year. Then 
还学 still， 就看来学了一年了，名字 still。If say 不学了，名字 stop。However you use the l e because you say negative， 不不学了 ，stopped。Not continue. If they don't have the negative bu, still continue. If they have negative bu, however the le, the end of the sentence is they stopped because bu, it means no, not continue. Okay, le finished. Now we can see the next one here. Okay, another character is really really common too. I want to figure out the here. Okay, you can see down here. This character, you really know this one. This one pronounced the, yeah, do, yeah, do by itself means a lot or more, right? Or much, right? Do, okay. Do is a beautiful character, right? Do, okay, let's figure out here, okay? Do. Sometimes we're talking something the number you the do, okay? How we use this one here, okay? Let's see where, okay? Uh, can you see the page? Um, what we are here, the page, okay. I think the page here, you can see page 205. 205, yeah, in Chinese, I say, 205 205 okay, 205 we say, 多, 多, you can see the, um, the sentences, okay. The sentences is uh, 206 the page 203, okay, 203. The first one, they say, the number what the sentences are here, okay? 这支笔一块多钱. 这支笔, 这 is this, 笔 is a pen, okay? 这支笔一块多钱, okay? This pen is over one dollar, over one dollar. This pen is over one dollar. 这支笔, B is a pen, 一块, in that case, one dollar, 一块多, 一块多 means more than one dollar, 一块多 means it's not two dollar, but more than one, 一块多, okay, 一块多, 一块多钱, usually we don't have to say 钱, because you can say 一块多, 一块多, uh, we don't have to say qian, but in that case, they say qian. <laughs> Both they work, okay? Because yi, yi kuai, the kuai is a major word for what? For money, okay, for money, okay, more prefer for money, okay? And also, you say something, zhe zhi bi, they know that means you buy something, have to pay. Definitely, in that case, yi kuai, in that case, we talk about money. You don't have to say money again, right? You can say yi kuai. Right, you quite okay. So you can say you quite, you quite, you quite do, you quite do one dollar. Okay, what I say here, this pen is over one dollar. Okay, you quite do, you can plus the chain, you don't have to. Okay, so the next one here, okay, the all they can say, all they can say, the price is more than one dollar. Okay, but least. This then two, <laughs> yeah, right. It's just one dollar, okay. Not two dollar, okay. So what I say here, 我们班有二十多个学生。我们班, the second sentence is here, yes. 我们班, 我们班, our class, 有二十多个学生。二十多个学生, in that case, 二十多个, um, means 20 more, not 30. Okay, that's what I say here, okay? Okay, they are over 20 students in our class, okay? Or I can say, they are more than 20 students, okay? But, okay, fair, okay, okay, fair than 30, okay? Fair than 30. Means 20 more is not 30. 20 more, not 30. Okay, let me see next one here. 妹妹, okay. 妹妹感冒十多天了. 
妹妹感冒十多天了。OK, well, let's see here. OK, my younger sister has had a cold from more than ten days. 十多天了。Okay. 十多天了。Yeah, more than ten days. It's not twenty. OK, well, let's see here. OK, let's see. OK, let's see here. The okay, number of days is between is between ten and twenty. OK, 十多天 means more than ten days and it's not twenty. OK, this is ten to twenty. No, ten between twenty, more than ten days. It's not twenty. OK, more than ten days, not twenty. Now we see next one here. OK. This one looks easy here somewhere. Let's figure out here, okay? You can see page if you have a textbook, okay? 207, 100, 207, 207, 207, the number five. The number five, what I say here, the sentence is, okay? The sentence is here. Ta Zuotian. 买礼物花了一百多块钱。OK， 啊、oh, ，We are I am here。OK， 他昨天 ，Let's see here， right？ Yeah， 他昨天买礼物花了一百多块钱。OK， Let's see。Yeah， he bought。OK， he bought。OK， over forty。Pants, pants. Okay. Ah, no, no here. Okay. He yesterday. We forgot one sentence is here. Yeah, that's one. Okay. He yesterday bought forty more pants. Here we are still two o six. Okay. Drop the one sentence is and I'll sit down here. Then that's one. He yesterday bought forty more pants. Okay. 他昨天买了四十 forty 多个四十四十 forty 多 more than forty is now fifty 啊 more forty forty between fifty okay forty before fifty okay now what is here he bought 啊 he bought okay he bought over okay he bought over forty pair the pairs Yesterday, okay. The number is between forty and fifty. Or you can say that both they work. Just say that person buy the pairs, pairs, okay. Li, okay. Between forty and fifty, okay. The number is between forty and fifty. More than forty, not fifty. Okay. Finally, we can see down here. 207. 207, yeah. 207, the sentence is found. 他昨天买礼物花了一百多块钱. 他昨天买礼物花了一百多块�en. What I say here, okay. He bought over one hundred dollars, okay. Okay, so the words of gifts yesterday. Well, too much cuts. It's too much cuts. Okay. okay, he bought he he bought over okay one hundred dollars. Okay, words of gifts yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. Okay. Okay. So then, he yesterday bought gifts. Gifts. Okay, gifts. 花了一百多块钱，花了一百多块钱。那么 ，see next that means, uh, more a hundred is okay. More hundred is not two hundred. More hundred between hundred between two hundred, 一百多 okay. Or you can say he spent he spent more than one hundred dollars, but less than two hundred. Because, because they say, uh, they say one hundred more, 一百多 means more than one hundred, 
more than one hundred, then I'll say two hundred. That means a hundred between two hundred. Okay. How I know that? Because they start the use what? They use a hundred. The next means two hundred, a three hundred, more hundred, 一百多, means be between two hundred. Okay, let me see next. 这双黑鞋, here have the case here, okay? Little different here, okay? 这双黑鞋十多块钱, okay, what they say here, okay? 这双黑鞋十多块钱, this pair of black shoes is over ten dollars, or they can say the price is more than ten dollars, but this then Twelve. How oh, now that's one here? Because this is ten dollars, right? This is ten dollars. It's more than ten dollars. Then that means between twenty. Because this start talking about ten dollars. The last sentence they start one hundred. Means next means two hundred. Next uh, three hundred. That's why they say one hundred between two hundred. Here they start ten dollars. That means Ten dollars more. That means ten dollars between twenty dollars. Okay. Here, 这一双黑色的鞋十块多钱，十块多钱，十块多钱. Okay. So let me can see now. No, that's right. 这一双黑鞋十多块钱. A. The sentence is A. We not there yet. Okay. 这一双黑鞋十多块钱. 十多块钱, okay. So the nice next one here. 这一双咖啡色的鞋十块多. Mm, somewhere different. Let's figure out here, okay. Why we use the duo, okay. The case is here, okay. 这一双咖啡色的鞋, 这一双咖啡色的鞋十块多钱. Okay, well, let's say here, okay. So, 这双咖啡色的鞋十块多钱 The pair of brown shoes is over than over ten dollars. Okay, okay, okay. The price is more than ten dollars, but list than eleven. Then list eleven, right? Okay, so here. Okay. 这一双黑，这一双咖啡色的鞋。十块多, maybe ten dollar fifty cents, maybe ten dollars ninety cents, just not eleven, just not eleven. And another one, this is in B, right? The number six, B, number six, A, they say, 这双鞋十多块, in that case, it means ten dollar between 20. The B is 这一双咖啡色的鞋十块多 means ten dollar between 11 <laughs> 十块多, 十块多. Uh, Yes, why? Why are they different? Okay. The type of one, A 这一双黑鞋, 这一双黑鞋十多块 Shuo Molan term between twenty. This one starts this meaning, okay? Shu do quite molan term between twenty. It means not twenty, okay? More ten, okay? Uh not twenty yet. The second one is a Tishong Ka Fe Su the Xie Shu Kwai ten dollars. The just Cover here ten dollars, shi kuai, you know the ten dollar, shi kuai, do ten dollars more, ten dollars more, that means ten dollars between what eleven, between eleven, because they already told you those how much ten dollars, ten dollars more, that means ten dollars between eleven, okay. The A, this is B, okay, the A. That's why we learned this on here, okay? Just want to say here. The A, what they say here? 
这一双黑鞋十多 ，ten more， 十多，十多块，十多块 ，it means ten between twenty， 十多块 means ten between twenty。If let's say 十块 ，they cover here。Okay, just remember B probably easy. Both they work, okay? Both they work, okay? They say 十块 just cover here. 十块 finish, just ten dollar. 十块多就 ten dollar little more, okay? That means ten dollar between eleven. Ten dollar between eleven. Because it's 十块就 finished. 多 ten dollar eleven. The first one, A, they say 十多块十多 Mountain, a mountain. Okay, they know she ten dollar. I say mountain, mountain. That means ten between twenty. Ten between twenty here always say 十多十一十二十三十四十五 until 十九 Okay, all they say 十多 ten more 十多十多 The second one, B, they say, 十块 just cover here, just ten dollar, the more. Okay, that means ten dollar is more. Means ten to eleven. If they say 十多 more ten, right? Means ten between twenty. Okay, here again. Okay, you can keep the second one probably easy. Second one, they say, 十块 Okay, I give you ten dollar. They say, 十块多 That means ten to eleven. 十块多 ten to eleven. They say, 十多块 means more prefer. Okay, the case you can see more prefer almost twenty. Okay, almost twenty. Okay, 十块多 I'm what I say, 十块多 Not only ten dollar to eleven. Ah, ten dollar, 十块多呃，十一块，十二块 Both they work, both they work. But here they translate a ten dollar to eleven. Um, I want to say ten dollar, twelve dollar, eleven dollar, twelve dollar, thirty dollar. It's not not nearby for twenty dollar. The first one, 十多块 more prefer close nearby twenty, nearby twenty. Keep this one. This local person we like to say down here. But the answer here, ten to eleven, ten to eleven here. Again, the first one, a, 这一双黑鞋十多块，十多块 more prefer nearby twenty, nearby twenty, 十块多 maybe eleven, maybe twelve, maybe thirty, but not near. Close the twenty. Okay, so now we see next. Okay, 这一家饭馆，饭馆 is restaurant. This restaurant. Okay, the 师傅 the 师傅 the cooking the guy. Okay, cooking the person. Okay, 师傅和服务员 the waitress. Okay, 认识十年多了。嗯，认识十年多了，十年。Okay, they know each other ten years. 多了 little more, maybe eleven, maybe twelve, maybe thirty, but not nearby twenty. 十年 okay, cover here. 十年多了 okay, means maybe um eleven years, twelve years, thirty years, fourteen years, but now close to twenty. Not twenty, not nearby twenty. Okay. Look what they say here. Okay, number seven. Number seven, right? Okay, let me see here. Number seven. Okay, number seven. They say okay. Um, the chef, the chef, the chef and the waiter, waiter, uh, in this restaurant, have known each other for ten years and some months. Ten years, some month. That's what they say, okay. But I prefer say here, okay. This is ten year and some months. I prefer say here, okay. Um, each other more than ten, maybe eleven, maybe twelve, maybe thirteen, fourteen, 
just not close the 20. Okay, not close to the 20, okay? 10 to 14, 10 to 50, more prefer for 10 to 14, okay? Uh, 10 years, 11 years, 12 years, 13 years, 14 years, not close to 20 years, okay? So now we see next one here. 我以为他们认识十多年了，十多年白。20 years old. Okay. okay, what they say here, okay? I thought, okay, they had, okay, now each other from what? From more than 10 years. All they can say what? They say, okay, longer, right? Okay, the longer of time is between them and 20 years. More prefer near by 20. Okay. 我以为, I think, okay, I thought. 我以为他们认识十多年了, almost 20. If they say, 这家餐馆的师傅和服务员的 Richard. 认识十年多了，十年多 maybe eleven, maybe twelve. I want to prefer for that. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, just around ten. Okay, not near by twenty. Okay, because this is is start. 十年多, ten more. Okay, 十年多. The second one, 十多, 10 more near by 20. Okay, we finish down here, okay? About the do here, about the do here, And also, we can press this one here. We still have some sentences here. 207, 207, yeah, the page 207. Finally, right? They copy us the sentences. We don't copy them, right? Okay, they copy us, <laughs> okay. 你学中文, 100% Sam, see look, the sentence is really common, really common here from textbook, right? 你学中文, 学了, <laughs> 多长时间了? You don't have ask me, you know this one here, right? How long the time did you study Chinese, right? 你学中文, 学了, 多长时间了? Lex, they know you study Chinese. Because they say, 你学中文学了, you study the Chinese, right? They know you are, then they ask. 多长时间了? Okay, now I have the answer here, okay? Then you can say, okay, the answer here, no. You have the answer here, okay? They don't answer, they should ask you. What do you say here? You say, one year ago, 一年了, one year ago, right? That means here, continue, still study Chinese. 一年了, one year, and until now, and still now. 一年了, and you can say, 我学中文学了, just repeat it again, right? 我学中文学了一年了, okay, they work. Or just say, 一年, one year. Just one year, we don't know what. But no, 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 think I'm not continuing now. Just one year, 一年. And you really know that one here, okay? Really know, we don't have le. 一年, you ask me how long, I say, 一年, that, 一年了, still, no, I don't know, I don't know, last year until now, okay? Okay, nice one, I can hear. 你上, they want to say something here. It's a good name. 你上这个学校, this is school, okay? We don't have a name, we just, we don't have, we have a name, we can, we can keep the name. But I want to say really common, just say 这个, this one, okay, 这个, okay. 你上这个学校上了多长时间了? 上, to go to school, okay? 上学校, 上班, <laughs> 上图书馆, the 上, by itself, is on and up, 
in that case, the shang token the time means to go, shang ban, go to work, shang xue, go to school, okay, shang tu shu guan, go to library, shang shang de, go to store, okay. They say, ni shang, zhe xue xiao, which is a Q, this is a good, okay. Shang la, you go to that school, huh? Shang la, do chang shi jian la. You go to that school, right? Study that school, right? How long the time? Do chang shi jian. You can say, yi nian la. Very common, always say yi nian. You can say liang nian, okay? Okay, keep say liang nian. Liang nian la, okay, two years ago. And still, liang nian la. I'll just say, liang nian. Only just two years, then that's it. Liang nian. You know we are different, right? Okay, I don't have le liang nian, just two years. Liang nian la, two years until now. Or, or I can also follow the sentence, whole sentence. Wo shang, don't forget the me, not you, because the answer, right? You ask me, right? Wo shang, zhe xue xiao, this is school. Shang la, <laughs> already. Shang la. 两年了, two years ago until now. 我上这个学校上了两年, two years. And that's it. Okay, what they say here? Next one here. 你在, 你现在住的地方, 住了多长时间了, 现在, currently, and now. 住, to live, 地方, place. 你在, okay. 你在, 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 你现在住的地方, the currently you lived, the permanent the address, where you live, the home of your family. 多长时间了? They ask you, how long the time did you leave the currently the address at your home, right? The time, the time, right? 多长时间了? Because they ask you how long, right? Okay, now you can say, 三年了, three years ago, and until now. Here, how to say, 了, why? They say, 现在, right now, you're still here, right? You're still here, right? You're still near your apartment, your home, right? Okay, the 三年了, 三年了, three years ago, 三年了, okay? Because they cover say, 现在, that means you're still here. You can, you can say, 三年, <laughs> 三年, they work now, yeah, they work, but here, we just learn how can use the legal, right? 三年了, from before until now. Sometimes, somebody, maybe they just don't say legal, they just, 三年, three years. Then, they understand that, yeah, they understand because they say 现在, 现在, you don't have to say 了, because they say how many years, they just say 三年, you can say 了, you don't have to say why, because you ask me, 现在 means I still here, but now I want you guys keep the 了, if you don't keep the 了, maybe sometimes you're confused and forgot. Now, if I say, if some people, they don't say that's why, still they not change it, because in that case, they already say 现在, that means now, okay? Keep the 了, okay? 三年了, because in that case, we just learned this 了, okay? 了, finished. Now, also, we already learned the 多, 多, we still finished the two, talking something about the, about the price, why I created that's why, why I, Keep this up because some still look like still confused. And that's why I say that one more, one more time again. Okay, all right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.